Hey again guys, I want to show you this awesome free movie catalog program for PC. It's called Ant Movie Catalog. A-N-T, just like the ant, the insect, movie catalog. And uh, I just did a Google search for it. I, I searched for some good movie catalog programs and I found a website with some free ones. And this popped up as one of the best ones and I like what I see so far. So. Um, and basically, so you can add all the movies in your collection there. You could add, you can make you know movie wish lists or whatever else. But the purpose that I'm having it for is to catalog my movies. And one of the reasons to do that as well is not just to keep track of them or to know what I have or whatever, but to share with other people. If somebody wants to borrow movies, you know, I'd like to be able to print a list and just be like, here's what all I have, you know. And maybe, you know, maybe just the titles or maybe, um, you know, a brief. Maybe like the genre that the movie is, so they can they get an idea. You know, I like comedies, and I can say like, you know, here's the comedies that I have. And um, so this program definitely seems like more than enough. And there's so many options; it's so versatile. You can see over here that I've started uh, my movie collection. I've only got 15 movies on there. It's probably going to be a slow process for me, but you can import data for each movie from different websites and, and all kinds of different stuff. But I'm importing it from the International Movie Database or the Internet Movie Database. It uh, seems like the easiest, best option. And you can see here how they're all filled out with the director, the producer, and the writer, and the composer, the country that it's in. It even has some comments or the first comment from somebody, uh, a brief description, you know, all this stuff, probably more, much more than what I need. But um, it does have, um, you know, it has the rating. It should have, uh, like, the genre somewhere. Well, co comedy has the category, so there we go. Beer Fest is a comedy. I've got Heat. You know, it even gets pictures of them. And there's just so many different things you can do here. But I've got the simple list here. And I'm just going to add another movie just to show you the process of how I'm adding these. I click up here to movie, click on add, and um, so it's got a blank one here, the original title. The last one that I did is Beer Fest, and I'm just kind of going across the top and just looking at what I got. And the next one is Jet Li's Fearless. So I'm not sure. Let me see. So what I'll do first is I'll go to the Internet Movie Database here. That's what this is, imbd.com. And so I'm going to look for Fearless... I don't know if it's called Jet Li's Fearless. Okay, they just call it Fearless on here, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now, so I'm on this Fearless page for Jet Li's Fearless. This is the movie that I've got that I'm going to add to the list. I'm going to select and copy this URL. I'm going to go back to the Ant Movie Catalog. Okay, the original title, I'm going to type in Fearless. And then I'm going to right-click on Fearless over here. I'm going to go to Get Information and get information from internet using a script. Now, it's going to have all these different web websites that you can get information from, but I'm going to go to the IMDB, so I'm going to just hit I, so it'll, it'll scroll there quickly. Right here, we have IMDB. Uh, double click on that. Enter the title or the, the URL. Okay, so I'm going to enter the URL, so it'll go exactly there. I'm going to paste um, that URL that I just copied, hit OK. Now it's going to scan and get all that information. Uh, it's asking me for an alternative title. If I want to use uh, this, I'll just say Jet Li's Fearless is fine, whatever, okay. Okay, now it's, these are all the things it's asked me if I want to copy all this information. Yeah, I want all of that, so I'm going to go to Save All. Uh, yes, and there we go. Now I've got you know the picture and all the information on it, just like that. And so... Let's see, for example, if I did want to print a list. Okay, so I go to print. Now it gives me all these options over here, all these templates. Um, let me see if I can make this full screen. There we go. So, you know, two movies per page. If you wanted to have it look like that, if you wanted that information, you know, that's too much, really. But here's something very simple, like three columns. Okay, once I start getting this filled up with hundreds of movies, It'll just be one column of movies, another column of movies, another column of movies. And another thing is, you know, it's tracking the number. I want to find out, kind of get an idea of really kind of what number of movies I have, just out of curiosity. It doesn't matter. 
But, you know, some of my movies, some of the DVD cases are like, you know, two or three movies in one case or even more. And so um, I'm just curious, you know, I know around about how much I have anyway, but it'll be cool to have a number and to have them listed. But it'll be cool to be able to print out a list like this for somebody. And there are other more detailed, detailed ones, um, 10 per page. You get pictures of them. Uh, you know, that one, that's the audio. Let me see here. Let's see. CD cover. Okay. So that's almost like a DVD case or something if you wanted to print it for a DVD case. List one, list two. So that has the pictures and stuff. Um, there's one uh, that should have like the categories. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on this on this here, but basically, you know, the three columns. Let's see, these are all audio, 10 per page. Uh, I mean, this is... Anyway, there's, there's a lot of different options with this. And I'm sure it's more customizable. Um, there was some way where I had like the categories too. All selected, check visible, sort by. Okay, you can also have them like categorized um, by, you know, alphabetically, like very easily. So for this is just amazing for me. I love this. Um, there's different ways to display it over here um, with these. Um, I can mark certain ones different colors or uncheck them. Uh, like, if I wanted to change the number, let's see, there was a change, there was a change of color. See, a color tag, red. I don't know what that did. Maybe I don't know what that is, actually. Um, but, okay. Somehow I should be able to change the color tags. So I could, I could tag, like, what movies haven't I watched yet, you know, and so I can look at that list really easily and see, you know, what movies I've got that I need to, to go through. There's just so many options with this. And I know I've got probably over 500 movies, all right? And yesterday I spent a little bit of time on this and I only had like 15 movies, so uh, it won't it won't take forever, but it's going to be, you know, it just depends on how much time I want to put into it each day. But if you have a really big collection, you know, even if you don't have a huge collection, this could still really be nice for you. And there's different apps that you, or programs that you can install that will work with this to where it would show, like, the picture of the DVD. Uh, you know, it kind of looked like Netflix or something. And if you wanted to have somebody over and have them look at your collection and kind of scroll through just, like, the movie titles or whatever, you know, it can be, like, a neat presentation. And, I mean, this is all free. So it's just it's incredible what all this offers. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. If anyone's interested in that, I'm going to be using this. I have an app on my phone where you can add uh, movie lists, but uh, they want you to pay for an upgraded version to be able to print it out and stuff. And it's nothing like this. It's not even close. And uh, it, was, it's help, it was helpful, you know, when I'm going to buy movies to check and make sure I'm not double buying something or, or whatever else. But um, and I think that you can export this this list into like PDF or whatever so I can probably just take this list and put it on my phone so I can still have all my movies on my phone easily um, but you know I'm gonna be more focusing on using this than the thing on my phone so uh, anyway thanks guys uh, just suggest this and have a good one God bless